Welcome to another flip video lesson with me, Mr. Volkman. Today's flip video is going to go over the final four, four characteristics of a civilization. And in our textbook, this is for chapter 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, and 5.7. And this is, as I previously stated, part two of this series. Today, we're going to be talking about how a civilization includes arts, religion, government, and a type of social structure. Our previous, or part one, flip video on the characteristics of a civilization, we talked about how a civilization has a stable food supply, they have an advanced form of writing, and they've made a lot of technological breakthroughs. All of these characteristics have to do with inventions. The characteristics we're going to talk about today refer more to a culture or how people actually live. So let's begin, shall we? Before we go and talk about social structure, I want to remind you that not only are we going to talk about these seven characteristics of a civilization, but we're also going to look at how the Sumerians were the first civilization, and I'll give brief examples about showing why or how they were the first civilization. First, let's talk about social structure. Every civilization had a social structure where different people had different jobs and they're at different levels. The higher level you're at, the better status you were. For example, the Sumerians had three levels on their social structure. At the very top, meaning the most important people, were the priests, the government officials, such as kings or scribes or governors, and landowners. These people were considered the most powerful in a Sumerian city-state and thus in the Sumerian civilization. These people had the biggest, the best expensive looking homes, so you knew they were at the top. The second level was merchants, farmers, artisans, people who made things, and fishermen. Now it's interesting because the artisans worked with not only with metal, but they also created um, different resources into luxury items. So they could create weapons, nice looking jewelry, some old fashioned bling bling. Farmers, interestingly enough, not only worked on their farms, but they also ensured that the irrigation systems were, you know, actually working. And in times of need, they could be conscripted or forced to join the army as well. Now, the very lowest level of the social structure in the Sumerian civilization were the slaves. They couldn't own land and they lived in their master's home. Um, and that's why they were the lowest. Yeah. The feature of a civilization was that these civilizations had a government. They had rulers, that helped to ensure that people stayed safe and orderly. In Sumer, Sumerians believed that kings were chosen by the gods to make sure this happened. And these kings had many different jobs. They collected taxes. I'm going to get my taxes. They also made sure that the irrigation systems worked. Hello, you up here. Is the irrigation system working? Um, yes it is. Kings also led their armies into battle. Um, led their armies into battle? Oh yes, charge! Not only did kings do these hands-on activities, but they also appointed people to help them because, let's face it, being a king is very busy work. So they might appoint governors to rule the towns that were kind of around the city-state, but too far away for the king to really have good direct influence. They also appointed scribes to help them write down their laws because, I mean, again, you're king, you got a lot on your mind. Hmm, I think I need to make a law about how you have to pet my tiger every time you see me. Um, I'm afraid I'll forget that. Mr. Scribe, can you write that down? Yes, sir. I'll write it down right now. Now, not only did civilizations have a government, not only did they have a social structure, 
But great civilizations also had religion. Civilizations had a belief in a god or gods, and they also had a way to worship these deities. Sumerians were no different. Sumerians' beliefs influenced all aspects of their life, whether it was growing crops to settling disputes between people. They built ziggurats, for example, to express their worship to their, to their deities. And they believed that the very top right here, that's where their deity lived. And they believed that the deity would walk down to earth down these stairs. Doop, 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 doop. And hopefully they wouldn't trip on those stairs because that'd be embarrassing. They believed that their kings or their priests would stand in the towers to ask their, their gods for things to help the people for blessings. They also worshipped their gods through music and by crafting statues of their gods. Finally, the seventh and final item we'll be talking about, civilizations have arts. They develop their culture through these arts, such as through paintings, music, architecture, and Sumerian civilizations again were no different and they had several types of artisans to create these arts. They had metal workers who as we talked about created weapons, jewelry, and mirrors. They had architectures to help build their ziggurats and also the homes of the very wealthy and the higher level people in their social structure. They also had musicians that sang and played instruments. Um, this is one of the instruments, the lyre, that you read about in your textbook. And here is a video of a gentleman by the name of Peter Pringle playing on a replica of a 5,000 year old Sumerian silver lyre. Let's listen in. Once, there we go. Wow, if I, had a, if I had a lighter, I'd be going like this right now. Woo, yeah! Well, thank you for watching this flip video. If there's anything you didn't understand, please make sure you go back and rewatch it. It was a little longer, I know, than most of the flip videos we've had though, thus far, but we had a lot of information to cover and go over. Please make sure you check out um, and Moto for the assignment that you need to do after watching this flip video and I will see you in class tomorrow. Hey Mr. Mint, should we rock out to that Sumerian Liar song? Oh yeah, let's rock out! Mosh Pit!